Hi everyone, so this is just a quick video on how to set up your MG4 uh, with the, an OMI charger and Intelligent Octopus. Um, so you can see here on this screen we've got zero miles showing um, as a state of charge. That's not correct. Uh, if we jump over to the iSmart app, you can see I've got about 70% battery uh, in the car at the moment. Uh, so you know, in, in, in this example, if uh, I was to add 20% to that, that would take me to 90%. Um, so I've set up a schedule to, to do that. So you can see below here, that will kick in and slowly build up until my desired cutoff time at 5.25, so just before the off-peak tariff for uh, Intelligent Octopus uh, ends so at 7.5p. Um, you can view the details here, and, and, and that's how this works basically. So it will use that information uh, to decide when to charge, uh, but you, you have to set up schedules. So uh, what I've done, if I just jump back to iSmart again is, um, I might need to just refresh this so it doesn't crash. Uh, you can see on this screen here, you need to make sure that in your vehicle you haven't got any schedule set. So uh, scheduling, scheduled charging at the bottom down here, there should be nothing switched on. So you can do that from the infotainment screen in the car or you could set it through the app. Just make sure everything is switched off here. Also set, you see this uh, arrow at the top with the, the battery, set that to 100%. So I know a lot of people say charge your car up to 80%. Nine times out of 10, we will be doing that, but you have to calculate that percentage uh, yourself. So whatever your current state of charge is, you just take that up to around the 80% mark. Um, I have a long journey tomorrow, so I'm gonna take it up to, to 90%, hence why I've got a 20% schedule uh, running. Um, so yeah, leave that at 100 and then the OMI charger will do you know, the, the rest of the work to, to get it up to your desired uh, charge level. So that's that, let's bounce back here. Um, so yeah, we've, uh, I don't know if we looked at this, but yeah, for cars that have API access, um, some brands have uh, yeah, been working directly with OMI to share that information. So it just means that they can take full advantage of the uh, intelligent uh, octopus tariff. Uh, but for anyone else, there's a full list of, of vehicles in here. Um, so you can select that. It just helps them with their, their calculations on estimated cost and things like that based on the, you know, the battery size and range of, of your car. Um, if we go back to this section, my charger, and click on charge schedules. So in this area here is where um, you, you set you know, what percentage you want to do. So you just need to calculate the delta between what you want to achieve. So um, we're at 70%. If I wanted to get to 80%, I would toggle on the 10% the um, schedule and then plug it, plug the uh, charger into the car, and then it would register that, and then I would get 10% in that off-peak time. Um, so that's why you saw that 20% on, on the main screen. So you just have to do this every time you charge. You're not gonna charge every day in most cases. Um, so you just need to plan this, plan this ahead, and you can add a new schedule at the bottom here. Um, obviously select what percentage you want, weekdays, weekends, um, you know, departure time and preconditioning. I haven't tried this yet and I've only had the car two days, so I'll give this a, a go and then maybe create another video. But yeah, the, we'll see how that works. Um, and then price cap. So I've set this to what the off-peak uh, price is. And obviously it knows what your tariff is. So this is the intelligent part where you know it's using the tariff information to determine what your off-peak uh, rate is. So I switched this on because when I first got the car, I plugged it in, it just started charging immediately. And I know with the intelligent octopus tariff that it can charge the car 
using the off-peak rate um, at different hours, but I just wasn't sure. And uh, when I looked at the, the data in the app, um, it looked like it was charging me at the, the peak peak hours, so I didn't want to take the risk. So following this setup, I've managed to make sure that you know it starts you know when I want it, it charges you know by the time I want it. Um, but yeah, that's that's it effectively. Those are my settings. So uh, set your schedule. Make sure on the iSmart app you've got the target level set to 100. No schedules within this app, um, and you do everything from from the Omi app here. Set the price cap on, and you're good to go. Right. So the next morning, you can see here from the MG iSmart uh, app. It's, uh, it's completed its charge, so we reached that 90% target uh, that we set, so that additional 20% got added, uh, no issues whatsoever. Um, so yeah, if you, if you like uh, this video, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, but yeah, thanks. Take care, everyone.